Welcome to the Authorit Image Map Maker plugin. This plugin is a tool designed to integrate image maps into your Authorit books to provide clickable image maps in the published HTML environment. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use this plugin to create a simple image map to place in a book for a published HTML. To launch the plugin, simply click the Image Map Maker in the Author ribbon at the top of the screen. This will open up the Image Map Editor, which has a simple split interface, Image Edition and Hotspot Modification at the top, and Saving and Summary down the bottom. There are a few main steps in creating an image map. The first is to insert the image map into the editor. The second is to add the hotspots for the image map. And the third is to insert the completed image map into a topic and then a book ready for publishing. Let's go ahead and insert an image. So click the new image map button to bring up the explorer. And you can choose from PNG, JPEG, GIF and bitmap files. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use a simple flowchart PNG. Now that the image is in here, the next step is to actually draw the first hotspot. Hit the new hotspot button up the top there, and this will change the cursor into the drawing target. Simply click and drag around your first hotspot like so, and when you release the mouse, the hotspot option box will pop up. The options pop-up gives us a few fields to fill in. The first one, description, allows us to name the hotspot for easy reference. Uh, we'll come back to topic and let's have a look at the alternative field. This will show a tooltip for our users when they mouse over the hotspot in the published image map. Uh, an important one is the target field. This specifies how our link or topic will be launched when clicked on. We'll head back to the insert topic or link. This specifies what actually launches when we click on the hotspot. And this can either be a topic in the library or an intra or internet link. If you're using a topic and you're familiar with the document ID of the topic in question, you can enter it directly in here. If you're not quite sure, you can use the search function to the right there. You can search by either topic contents or topic name. Let's enter some terms here to find our first topic. Select the topic, click OK, and we've completed our first hotspot. Let's quickly create a new hotspot. Uh, this time we'll use an internet URL for our topic or link field. Click insert new hotspot and click and draw a new one. We'll fill these details out and specify this particular one to launch in a new window. Remember that's the blank option. Notice that the details of our hotspots have appeared down in the bottom summary window. If you need to edit something, you can simply double click on these particular lines or double click on the hotspot itself and you can edit the options as needed. You can also move and resize the hotspots as well. To move a hotspot, click and drag on it, or mouse over the bottom right to reveal the resize boxes. You can drag these to a more suitable size by clicking and dragging on them. If you need to delete an extra hotspot or want to start over, there is a delete button in the toolbar up the top. Once you've finished with your image map, you can save it and give it a name for reference in the library. Saving the image map will also give it a document ID, so remember that everything in Authorit is held together by these document IDs, so you can find it using that document ID if you need to. Your image map will always be saved in the folder that was open when the image map plugin button was clicked. And the next step is to place the image map in a topic. Let's open up a book I've prepared earlier and open up the topic that you want to contain the map and click the insert file object button in the top right toolbar. Find your map, click OK and your book is ready to publish. Don't forget that you will need to include all the topics that you link to in the same book, otherwise your users will get 404 file not found errors when viewing the published output.